Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Eddie Hood. I am one of the profit coaches here at Ignite Spot Outsourced Accounting. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, pretty much a QuickBooks specific feature called class tracking. Now, this particular video goes along with a blog post that I've put together for you called How Profitable Companies Track Revenue. And in the first two videos, I showed you how to change your chart of accounts so that you can break out your profit and loss statement by your revenue channels. Really, really powerful stuff. Uh, and in the second video, I showed you how to make sure that each product or service that you sell is automatically tagged to one of those revenue channels so that anytime your bookkeeper enters a transaction, it, it will post it to the right account. And uh, so if you haven't watched those, go back and watch those two videos. Um, now in this video, again, we're talking about class tracking. And this is something that a lot of people um, find difficult to, to apply correctly in QuickBooks. And quite honestly, it causes a big mess in most of the QuickBooks files that I run into. So I'm going to show you our preferred way to deal with class tracking. It doesn't apply to everybody. Um, but for us, the way that we prefer to use it is for businesses that have multiple locations. So if you're a retail store, for example, and you've got a, a shop in New York, maybe one in Denver, one in Michigan, class tracking is really great because then we can tag each of your transactions to uh, that particular store location and you can see uh, how each store is comparing to uh, you know the next one. So when I see people using class tracking, uh, quite honestly, they're, they're using that to um, for, for their revenue channels. And I found that that gets really, really messy and, and we prefer to set up the revenue channels like we did in the last two videos through your chart of accounts so that nobody can, can mess it up. So uh, here we go, let's, let's show you how this works. If you open up your QuickBooks file, you go over to lists and you come down to class list. Now, if you're not in QuickBooks, don't worry. Most, most accounting softwares have a location tag somewhere in the software. And, and so just follow along and do, do essentially what we're doing. But you're going to want to create in QuickBooks a class for each location. Now, I've already done that for our three pretend locations, Michigan, Denver, and New York. <laughs> I misspelled it, that says New York. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. So uh, to create a new one, you'll come down to this class button and you can click on new or just hit control N either way. Um, you'll type in the name of your location here and hit OK. It's pretty simple. Once you do that, let me show you what the end result is. If you go back to our profit and loss report, which is the report we've been working on, this is the view you're, you've been used to over the past two videos. You can see how we've broken out our revenue channels, which is just awesome. We can see our drywall, our painting, our cement, and our framing, and how much we've built through the month of December so far. That is so much more powerful than just seeing construction income, which doesn't give us any information at all. Um, but now, uh, assuming I've got multiple locations that I'm running my business in, uh, I wanna see that on the same page. So if you go to Customize Report, and you come down to this display columns by uh, total only, change that to class. And when you hit OK, it's gonna give you multiple columns, one for each location. So you can see our Michigan office, our Denver office, the, <laughs> the New York office, and then there's this column called unclassified. So you'll notice, well, let me back up. Unclassified essentially means that your bookkeeper has put in a transaction and they didn't tag it to one of the locations. So that's a problem. Um, but it's nice because you can instantly see where those transactions are. And right now I've got one. If you watched the last video, you'll, you'll remember that I created a, a drywall transaction for $50,000. Um, when we created that video, we didn't have class tracking set up yet. So it is uh, putting it into unclassified. So I'm going to open up this transaction and show you what your bookkeeper is going to need to do in order to make sure that every transaction is going to the proper location. So let me just open this up and pretend like we're creating this invoice for the first time. So here we are. Now up at the top, you're going to notice that we've got a dropdown called class. If I use that and select our, <laughs> I keep laughing every time I see that, the New York office, uh, it's going to throw that into the right location. So if I hit save and close, it's going to ask if, I, if it's okay that we change this transaction. I'll hit yes. Let me close out of this uh, ledger here. Now you'll notice that that $50,000 drywall project is showing up under our New York office and the unclassified column has disappeared. That's what we want. If you're using class, uh, class tracking, you don't ever want to see that unclassified column. Your bookkeeper needs to make sure everything is falling into the right location. And you can also see on the right hand side, there's a totals column. It shows you how your business across all of your locations is doing. 
So it's a great view. Not only am I seeing each location's performance, but I'm seeing it by revenue channel uh, down here in the, uh, the accounts. And this is what you need to have in your business in order to see how you're doing and make great, great financial decisions. If you have reports like this, you're going to have a much better chance of getting profitable. And that is our ultimate goal and our mission for you. Uh, you know, our, our mission is to make sure that every business in America, whether they become our client or not, becomes profitable by 10% or more and is getting debt free. So I hope this helps. Thanks for hanging around, guys, and we'll see you on the next blog post.